Yo, it's your boy Suave the Wiz with the Mad Ad Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm checking out Kodak Black featuring Jen Sake. This is a new song Kodak has released from jail. This song is called Die For You. Yo, my boy Kodak Black is the Broward County fucking goat. Everybody loves Kodak. Everybody got love for Kodak everywhere, but everybody loves Kodak at home. You know what I'm saying? He just got to stay out of trouble and keep making good music and stop being a knucklehead, bro. You feel me? But definitely. So I'm finna get into this track today. I'm gonna give it my ins and outs and do's and don'ts, and I'm gonna give it a review. So let's go. I can't lie, you know I'm high, bitch, though. When you die, I'm gonna die with you. Whoa. <laughs> you so fine, you make me cry, miss you. When you die, I wanna die with you. <laughs> I can't lie, you know I'm high, bitch, though. Okay, Kodak, I feel you. It's one of those Kodak songs. This remind me of the, um, what is that? The Valentine's Day EP he dropped. Uh, it was all right, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking with it, he had a few bangers on that. I feel like he's going back to that love type of persona. I mean, Project Baby, man. It's the Project Baby. Got a guy, I love my niggas, don't tell them finish. Wow. What I just realized is um, I'm I'm guessing this song was already pre-recorded, obviously, and I guess he added the little last couple bars from jail, or I mean that's an effect. I don't know. This is probably one of the weakest Kodak songs I heard in a while. I'm not even gonna lie, and I'm like I fucks with Kodak. Kodak is a fucking beast but this is pretty weak you know what i'm saying compared to any other release he's released from jail or even the freestyle over the phone <laughs> this was not really that much of a vibe i mean i get the overall message it was it was delivered very well you know what i'm saying but uh, i'm gonna see what jen sake is gonna say you know what i'm saying because different vibe different energy you know what i mean but i don't know this is relatively relatively low ball for me for kodak black you know what i'm saying she came in so hard. Where was this with Yak? This definitely a vibe. She came in sliding, and gave me like that Bone Thugs and Harmony type of flow, like Gangsta Boo type of delivery. Like, I'm fucking with this shit. Go ahead, Jen Sake. Never heard of you. This your, this your time right here, Jen. I'll keep it nice and safe for Okay, so pause. Kodak Black, Jen Sake, Die With You, let's go. Lyrically, I'm not going to lie, this is one of the most low-balled Kodak Black lyrical performances I've ever heard as a person that listens to Kodak. I mean, I've been on the Kodak since I was like 14, you know what I'm saying? I heard Kodak's first single when it first touched the street. If I'm not mistaken, it's like my first song I heard was Fourth Quarter by Kodak. That's like throwback. Let alone, you know, if you're you, you a stan, you, you a fan, this gang of songs Kodak released. You know what I'm saying? So I've been listening to Kodak. So I've seen his artistry, I feel like, blossom into what it is now. So me seeing this, come on, man. This shit, is, this shit was not the best. The hook was okay, I guess. I don't know, but could have been better. Felt like Yak could have pressed it way harder. So lyrically, I'm feeling like I'm going to have to give this a six. I mean, Jen Sake definitely brought that extra energy, and she brought what was needed. I was fucking with her feature. But generally, Kodak was the base of the song, so I'm going to have to give it a six lyrically. Okay, so production-wise, shout out to the dude that made the beat. Shout out to the dude that picked the beat. This was great beat selection. This is a great song for Kodak Black's voice, his delivery. I like the the claps and, you know, the hi-hats in this. It was definitely a vibe, you know what I'm saying? I liked it. I know for sure that, you know, Kodak goes hard on any other track, like any track. But this one specifically, I don't know, man. This wasn't the best. 
the tone was there and all that, but it just didn't hit the same. So it just wasn't my vibe, man. So I'm feeling like this production right here, it was good, but you know, Kodak on the track wasn't all that. So I'm gonna have to give it a solid nine production wise, definitely a vibe. Okay, so delivery wise, Sir Gackington, K1, motherfucking sniper game general. Kodak, look, I ain't never heard no shit that this that was so like weak, bro, from 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 any like, you know what I'm saying, from any of your catalog. Like I don't understand where you came from with this. This was just so left field. If it's an album coming, alright, I feel it. Alright, cool. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that album on point, cause you know what I'm saying, Kodak, whenever he drops, he drops bangers. He always brings shit to the table. He never comes like, you know, lack thereof. It's always, yeah, I'm dropping, I'm dropping fire. So most deaf. I expect the best from Kodak. Don't be lowballing shit. It don't matter, it don't matter nothing, man. Drop drop quality music, you feel me? So um this song in particular, I feel like Jen saved it. Jen Sake saved it. So, I mean, delivery-wise, I'm going to have to give it a solid 7. It was okay. But um, overall, Kodak Black, Jen Sake, Die With You. I'm going to have to give this song a solid 6.5. This right here was not really nothing major. I don't feel like anybody need to go crazy over this. Maybe the next release will be something major, but this following release didn't even really have any buzz. Wasn't really nobody talking about it. Everybody's talking about 6 9 and all that other shit. But, I mean, Kodak is still a, a, a power, you know what I'm saying? It don't even matter that he's locked up. He still has that power, still has that type of, you know, control over his career. So, I mean, it don't really matter. This is just one of those songs off the many to come. So, hey, man. I definitely say Kodak Black, premier artist, Jen Sake, love the feature, good shit. It's been the Mad Ad Podcast with your boy Suave the Wiz. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any songs or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'm out of here.